The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. How practice is going and, uh, you know, how things are going as you get set for your sixth season here at North Carolina Central? Uh, practice is going as expected up to this point. Um, you know, it's a lot of teaching, a lot of vernacular, um, a lot of new faces, kids trying to understand our, our culture and our way of doing things. So um, needless to say, it's been um, up and down, but that's to be expected. It's an educational process as well as um, getting the kids to play hard and buy into our system. You were picked fifth, uh, first in the MEAC. Mm. Two, your two captains are, made the all MEAC squads. Um, just talk about that and address that. Um, in terms of KJ and, and, and Jordan, um, if I'm if I'm correct, I think KJ was third team, Jordan was first team. You know, that's a uh, testament to them and their hard work and their sacrifices. Uh, they're both incredible kids, and they're going to graduate on time, which I'm, I'm probably more proud of than, than anything else. And they also are, are coach captains this year, you know, so they are um, really faced with a responsibility that had, haven't been placed upon their shoulders thus far in their uh, basketball career. So hopefully they can uh, continue to lead these young men in the direction uh, that we need to go. And, oh, and in t I'm sorry, in terms of uh, the preseason number one, like y'all know me by now, I don't, I don't care about that stuff. That's no one cares about uh, an educated guess or a hypothesis, that's all it is. And a lot of it's just bait anyway. So, you know, it's, it's great, it's respectable. But um, games aren't won on paper, and they definitely aren't won in the preseason. Of course, on the other hand, those expectations kind of come on the territory mm -hmm. where you guys have, have, have been so far. Right. You know? uh, do you do you try to downplay those expectations with your guys? Yeah, um, and it's very simple with our guys because if you walk in our locker room and, and see the team this year, they haven't accomplished anything. You know, I said, yeah, you guys haven't won a game. Some of you guys have never scored a point here at North Carolina Central, so you can't take credit for um, a, a path that was created by the pioneers before you. So, you know, it's great. They, they've given you, and I like to use the comparison or the analogy, they've given you the keys to a Ferrari, and you can't crash it right now. you got to bring it back with a full tank of gas and the car wash. So that's not going to be an easy process, but that's, what we, that's our agenda. Is there any way to describe just emotionally what this last six months even mm -hmm. have been for, for you and those in the program right. in terms of how much you guys have accomplished? You know, it's, it, you, you feel the effects of it every day. Yeah. Um, even now, when you go out, it's, it's almost like the victory just connected a community as a whole. And I think that's the most critical thing because we are a, a community atmosphere, a community oriented university. And, um, you know, to have 85 year olds um, that knew John McClendon, that, you know, to say, you know, I'm so appreciative of, of just what you guys did and I'm so proud, you know, that's, that's pretty much amazing. As far as the young men, I'm sure they're feeling the effects of the same thing. You know, they have to walk on campus and walk through the cafeteria and, you know, they, they, they played primetime Friday night basketball on TNT in front of the nation. Um, we couldn't ask for a better time slot in terms of marketing and publicity. And uh, we had a good showing. Obviously, it didn't end the way uh, we would like. But, you know, it, it's just bought North Carolina Central credibility uh, sky high. And now the expectation is for us to sustain that. Yeah, obviously they lost some pretty important senior leaders. Mm -hmm. Where is that leadership coming from this year? It still remains to be seen. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult for KJ and Jordan right now because they're used to being led and um, they have the leadership abilities and they're trying. But, um, you know, I told the guys, you know, let's be honest. The thing about Pooby Chapman last year, his, his most vital contribution to the team was invisible. You know, it was the leadership. He knew me so well. And, you know, I doubt if I'll ever get another captain that i known since the day he was in his mother's womb. And that's the connection him and I had. And um, so he always knew what I wanted when I wanted it. And he knew when to get the guys together. Uh, KJ and Jordan has to figure that out. Um, and our guys have to buy in and, and learn that process along the way. So it's going to be a, 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 a tough challenge, needless to say. And um, obviously, it's, it's, our, it's our biggest weakness at this point. Bigger front line, certainly on paper. 
Right. This year. Has that changed some dynamics in terms of the way you guys are going to play? Yeah, I, get, I have to figure out how I'm going to coach them. You know, and that's on me. And I, if, if anything, I'd rather for it to be in my hands. Um, I, I, I trust me. Um, but I, I have to figure out how we're going to play. Um, you know, and right now we've only been practicing a week and a half. Uh, we started a, a little later because I didn't want to burn the guys out. Um, but it'll, it'll come from their consistent pattern of behaviors and um, me realizing who exactly this guy is once these lights cut on. And needless to say, we got a, a test on November 14th out. I'll let everybody know about who we are with North Carolina. Coach, no doubt about it, you're in the talent business. Mm -hmm. Would you almost rather have a Puka Chapman and a Jeremy that come in needing some work? Mm -hmm. they, I need my coach. I need my team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it all works together. Um, you know, they need, that's the beauty of any relationship, if you think about it, whether it's, you know, my wife, my team, especially, you know, just, just me speaking in terms of me. I needed them just as much as they needed me. And I think that's that's when it uh, works out best. Um, you know, with Poob and Jerm, man, they're really special. And we knew that at the time. We definitely didn't take that for granted. But now in practice, you can see they're not there. And the plays that Pooby made off the – you know, with his pass and just his overall vision, we haven't made those plays thus far. And he, that kid just saw – he saw things two two steps ahead, you know, before the play uh, even arise. So, we, we, it's going to take a lot of focus. It's going to take a process, man. And, um, you know, I'm not looking for it to happen early. Um, you know, normally I give them to Martin Luther King Day. That's when your team starts forming and shaping and molding itself. So, you know, we're excited to see that. How about – oh, go ahead. Describe last year's team experience, battle tested. Um, you alluded to it a little bit that this team hasn't done anything yet. Right. Hasn't had a play. How would you describe this team? Um, just new. <laughs> you know, we just we just knew. Um, the reality is, and I told him the other day at practice, I don't know y'all like that. You know, I, I don't know you. I don't know how you're gonna act in front of 21,000 people. Um, so therefore, my spirit is not going to be peaceful until you provide that tranquility for me. You know, with Poopy Chapman, he could give me a look and I say, okay, we're going to be okay, you know, and because he's earned that throughout the years. I, I don't know these guys. I don't know their mannerisms. I don't know their body language. I don't know how they're going to respond when a team goes on a 10-0 run in front of 20,000 people. That's a loud arena. And those are the things um, that, that, you know, good teams weather that storm. And, you know, they, they find a way to get through it and they find a way to overcome those adverse situations. And that's when you know you have a basketball team then. So at this point, I, I really don't know what we have. We, we're battling injuries. Uh, Jay Copeland, you know, that was a big hurt to us. You know, he's out for the year. Um, Rashawn Madison, um, who, who we brought in, who can shoot the basketball, and he'll be more like a combo guard for us. He was hurt in practice the other day. Dante Holmes just experienced a... Uh, injury the other day, so you know we're just trying to stay healthy right now. We it seems like we always start banked up, so I just pray I ain't got to go practice because I, I ain't in that shape right now. What type of injury was that for Jacob? Uh, torn ACL, torn ACL, and MCL, and any other L that's in your knee. I think he tore everything, so you know he's yeah. It was in in pickup, in pickup. Mm -hmm. So so right now, man, like last season. State with confidence, mm -hmm. having that conversation with Poopy, like we're gonna win this one. Right. You can't go to Carolina like that. Uh, I can. Right now. Yeah, I can. I'm, I'm going anywhere like that. That's that's just me. But I can't play, you know. So <laughs> I can't pass it. I can't shoot it. I can't rebound it. So um, they have to develop that confidence, and that that comes, you know. Um, truth builds trust, and we're openly honest and brutally honest, and we hold these guys accountable every single day and what they're doing. So hopefully, you know, they can learn their mistakes, um, rig their bad habits from, you know, from high school and AAU and things of that nature and catch on quick and understand what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish here. I know Jeremy's playing ball in Turkey. Can you give us an update on the other guys? Um, Jeremy's, in, Jeremy's in Turkey. Um, Dominique had an incredible career um, in the Philippines. Pooby, um, we're waiting to see what's going to happen with him this week. He turned down a job off in Ukraine because they were going 
you know, they had some war stuff over there. So uh, he didn't feel comfortable taking that at the particular time. And um, um, Anton is, is in France. Um, I think he's working out with a, a pro B team. And Alfonso should be out of here by December, hopefully. So. And Ibuka's working out as, as well, too. He had some injuries that he needed to clear up. So, um, you know, he's working out in hopes of going to play across the water as well. Speaking of Jeremy Ingram, key situations lean on a lot to make that bu bucket happen. Mm -hmm. Identify the player you think that would be that you go down to in key situations like that? Yeah, you know what? One thing I've learned is those, those players are, are best discovered through – through the battle. You know, it's not you, you have good pickup basketball players, then you have good practice basketball players. And then, you know, you have guys that's that's just battle tested and ready for that moment, who craves for that moment. Jeremy Ingram was one of those kids and he was that way consistently in practice and pickup and also in the games. I haven't seen that yet. You know, once again, I, I don't know these guys like that. And I'm, I'm trying to get to know them, and they're trying to get to know themselves um, with, within the confines of our system. So hopefully, um, you know, we can establish some things collectively un until one stand out. First few glance, um, sorry, first glance, um, have you seen Jeremy Ingram and Anthony Davis play together? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's 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 quick. Um, you know, he's a point guard who has to be more comfortable right now. He's right now he's a chicken with his head cut off because he's you know to the kids' credit, he's trying to learn everything um, that we do here at North Carolina Central, and it's only been a week and a half, so it's like those bullets are flying. When those bullets are live at you, it's it's just a different a different perspective. Um, but he'll be fine. You know, he'll, he's trying to grasp everything now. He's making mistakes. But it's just like that quarterback that's just trying to um, get the system intact and, and the defense is steadily running blitzes at him. You know, so he, eventually he'll get it. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.